Be mindful who's watching your children because God is paying back to many people. Many people don't like children. So be careful. People in daycare, schools, buses, bus, school bus drivers, even parents, relatives, siblings, Check your children, check their bodies, ask them questions, believe them, train them in the truth, that way they don't lie. Believe them, you wanted people to believe you, and no one wanted to hear you out when you were little. Be careful, the Lord is dealing with the wicked. He's paying back to the proud what they deserve. So many people are taking it out on the children. The children are the future. A lot of them can't have children. The Lord has barren them because he knew. He knew that they would abuse his children. And anyone who abuses his children, he says, it'll be worse off having a millstone tied around your necks cast them to the deepest part of the ocean. Jesus loved the children. Anyone who welcomes the children, welcome him. Anyone who causes them to stumble, that's who he's dealing with. So people's sins are causing them to hurt his little ones. Talk to your children. My God, train them up in the way that they should go. Proverbs 22, verse 6. Treat your children with the love of God. God has to show you. Train them up in the instructions of the Lord so that when they get older, they won't fall far from it. There's instructions. God has the instructions. He has, he's the manufacturer. So that's why they're all different. So we gotta love them all the same. You treat them differently. You should love them the same. Even if they're not yours, if you're responsible, if you're taking care of them, you're responsible for loving them how Christ loved them. You must do this. This is what God wants for us to do. The Lord is calling many of his children out of the schools. He wants them to be trained. He wants to train them himself. He's not in the school, so why would his child be there? He has to train them. He has to train them. He has instructions. Trust God. Lean not on your own understanding. Acknowledge God in all your ways. He has the instructions. He is more than the chosen one. Your child is the chosen one. You are the parent, so that means you're chosen as well. He has the instructions. For I know the plans I have for you. My plan is to prosper you and not harm you, to give you a hope and a future. That's the Most High God, Jeremiah 29 11. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Seek the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. Talk to your children. Ask them questions. Believe them. Look them in the eyes. When a person can't look you in the eyes, there's deception. There's no truth. God is exposing the enemy. So be in position. He's going to show you. So you must know his voice. If not ask, he will tell you. So you must repent of your sins. True repentance. He has to bring you out of everything. The enemy is out to steal, kill, and destroy God's children. They're the chosen race. So be sure. You believe your children. But ask God. God will reveal the truth. Don't just put your trust 100% in man, a person, your child. 
You have to take it back to God and He will reveal it to you. That way you'll know it's Him telling you the truth. So if you want to take it out on anyone, take it out on yourself and take it up to the Most High God. Because He has instructions. Don't trust these people with your children. They don't even like children. This message is not for everyone. So if it resonates, speak to God about it. This is confirmation, but he gives the final confirmation. So be sure, and he will answer you. His word will not return to him void. He's not a man, he shall lie. So it will come to pass. God loves you. So do I. Most importantly, Jesus loves you. He loves the little children. In Jesus' name, amen.